his old team taking on the Steelers, who didn't have to face Aaron Rodgers on this day, but rather Matt Flynn, who led that huge comeback down in Dallas. Third quarter, Packers try to tie it up, but Mason Crosby's kick is blocked. Now watch this. It gets a little kooky. Ryan Clark, we think, picks it up, tries to scoop it backward. No, and then Ziggy Hood bats it. That's illegal. So the flag is thrown. But the refs say first down Green Bay. Why? Because Pittsburgh, in their opinion, never had full possession of the ball. Had they gotten full possession, they just would have been penalized, kept the ball, and moved it back half the distance to the goal line. Instead, they said Ryan Clark never had it. <laughs> and by the way, it's a non-challengeable play. That's so Mike not a good couldn't call. Even challenge it. That's not a good call at all. Sorry about that. All right, so next play, how's it work out? For Pittsburgh, not very well, because here comes Eddie Lacy. The rookie out of Alabama, 15 carries, 84 yards, two scores, plus an injured ankle, did not return. Next dealer's possession, though, Big Ben drives him down the field and hits Matt Spade for his first catch of the year. Of the year? Of the year in week 16, and the Steelers reclaim the lead. I like how Ben is getting the ball out of his hands quicker. Uh, and then here we go. It's Shab special. Cornerback's dream. That that, that's what that is. What is what? The ball slipped out. It ain't slipped out the cornerback's hand. The ball slipped out his hand. Cortez man. Allen with his first career touchdown. By the way, and the Steelers take a 10-point lead. Packers now in the fourth, Shab down seven. Flynn, who was 21 of 39 for 232, looking for Jordy Nelson. Jordy could play this. That's right. It ain't slipped no marshals. 31 on that pitch and catch, and then three plays later, no Eddie Lacy. Oh, who do we give it to? John Coon. Nobody want to hit that dude. I don't know if I... His oh, Lambo leap. We're tied at 31 with seven and change to go. Next Green Bay possession, third and eight. Matt Flynn trying to get to the sticks, which is a great idea until this happens. He Troy fumbles Palomalo. it. Palomalo still making plays. Recovered by the human beard, Brett Teasel. As a human beard. So now fourth and three, the Steelers kicking the field goal, but oh, Nick Perry. You're not going to go offside. But you're not going to block it from there anyway. That's just incredible right there. So the Steelers get the first down, and then two plays later, Le'Veon Bell, first Steeler to rush for 100 yards in 23 games. Wow. You kidding me? Still, still in the fight. Well, the ensuing kickoff with a buck 25 to go. Micah Hyde. Let's see, if he had that Devin Hester, he would have got out the gate right here. Now, that's when you hit it, right there. But anyway, still a 70 yard return, and the Packers are in business. So they get it down second and goal, but we got a false start on Don oh, Barkley, the right man. tackle. Now, they have no timeouts left, so it's a 10 second runoff, plus we've got a running clock when we put the ball down. So this is essentially last play of the game. Flynn to Jared Boykin, and. You gotta go to Jordy. You gotta go to Jordy right there. Jordy Nelson wide open. You gotta go to Jordy right in the middle. Packers will still have a win and in in Chicago next Sunday.